This is Max Williams with United Real Estate and today I'm in North Richmond. More specifically, I'm in the Providence Park section. Today we're going to take a look at a three bedroom, two full bath bungalow. This bungalow is located here in an interesting block in North Richmond. Uh, one of the things that kind of struck me when I was walking around was that I don't see any homes that were built with stucco. Stucco is probably the predominant exterior here in this area and uh, we've got some brick how you doing sir brick uh, vinyl and other exterior surfaces but no stucco so that's pretty unusual for North Richmond this home built in 1936 and it is newly renovated they did a fabulous job here on the renovation uh, really seeing a lot of nice work here in this area uh, it has really gained popularity over the last several years and the activity here as far as investors and purchasers has uh, definitely taken off. We do have a nice new deck here in the back also. There is a large storage building. That is a large metal storage building back there. It's big enough actually to put a car in but not really designed uh, for vehicle storage. Uh, as is common here uh, in the city, we do have an alleyway. The alleyway is, of course, for uh, sanitation truck access. They come through and, of course, pick up your cans, uh, take care of that here in the city as part of your water bill. Water and solid waste is all included. Uh, if you have natural gas that's included here in richmond as well off street parking got a nice gravel slab here uh, and it is brick on all four sides uh, and that's definitely a big plus the roof looks great and we've got some new plumbing work that was done uh, just a really nice renovation one of the things that we're seeing today's market is that multiple offers are still a reality and in many cases, it's important to uh, keep that in mind. If you are in the market, there's some things that we can do to make our offers more attractive. Uh, some of buyers are now opting for as-is purchases. Uh, basically, what an as-is purchase allows you to do is to uh, tell the seller that you will take the house as-is after the home inspection is done. And you still have the ability to get out of the transaction if major items are found but it does make your offer more attractive in a multiple offer scenario so there are some things that we can do in today's competitive environment to make our offers much more attractive but let's go on in and take a look at this beauty and see what she has to offer okay as we come in we have our steps of course up there to the right come into our family room uh, this home does have uh, wood floors throughout here on the first level we're going to go upstairs and take a look at one of our bedrooms and our full bath is up here as well up here on the second level they put in a luxury vinyl plank also gave us recessed lights in the ceiling we do have a knee wall here that's probably about three and a half feet or so high. And I would probably use this as a space primarily for a child or someone that was fairly short. Uh, here to the right is going to be our vanity. I can get in there and use that vanity, but if there was anyone that was much taller than me at five, seven, they may have a little challenge getting in there. Okay, but great space, uh, and this is definitely a plus here in a more conservative home. Have that upstairs space. Okay, here to the left is going to be uh, one of our bedrooms. Straight ahead, of course, to the dining and the kitchen area here to the right is going to be an enclosed floor to room. This was probably screened previously and uh, it may not have been enclosed. They went ahead and enclosed it and put the vinyl siding up. This would be a great space here for a home office. You've got plenty of natural light. Uh, this is conditioned space, uh, so it would be heated and cooled. So it would be just as comfortable as the rest of the home. 
As we transition now into the dining area, we do of course have the nice open kitchen. They did a great job with this kitchen, which includes our bar here. Nice tall bar stools would be great. Brand new cabinets, nice ceramic backsplash, a deep double bowl sink. And I know someone is gonna ask me, Max, why did they do that beautiful kitchen and put in a blue dishwasher? That dishwasher is actually stainless steel that is a blue film that is over it. So they're gonna keep that nice and clean and in great condition for you. You just simply remove that film. Or if you buy this home and use me as your buyer's agent, I'll actually remove it for you. Okay, beautiful brand new stainless fridge. If you remember from previous videos, the free refrigerator does not always convey. Um, many homes don't have uh, appliances or definitely don't have all appliances. Uh, that door, of course, takes us back out to the deck. We have a second door that's actually going to take us to the ground outside. And we're gonna go on down here to the basement and take a look. I know a lot of people are really squeamish about unfinished basements, but this one is nice, bright, and clean. It doesn't have a nasty, musty smell to it. They've done a nice job of cleaning it up. And we do have some unfinished space. I wanted to show this to you because this is important. Whenever you're looking at a renovation, you wanna know exactly what was done. And I can see here in the distance, we've got new PVC piping all the way back there. We've got new waste lines. I can see the line set for the heating and air system. This black vinyl here, this is a material, this is called a vapor barrier. And it goes between, uh, goes on top of the ground and it keeps moisture down. And you don't want moisture permeating up into your home because that can cause mold and other issues. So it's good to have that vapor barrier in place. A lot of the older homes won't have them. So it's one of the most common things that we see as far as deficiencies when it comes to a homes when a home inspector does their inspection especially with older homes in many cases it's just not existent water heater your washer dryer would go right there and this is just a great place also for additional storage uh, that duct line there is for the new heating and air system of course the electrical has been upgraded in this beautiful home as well all right, let's take a look at our bedrooms and see what they look like here in this home. We do have a Jack and Jill bathroom, which you're gonna see momentarily. But one of the things I like about this home is we have really good size bedrooms. They did not come in and give us tiny bedrooms. Our closet right there. And we transition now into our Jack and Jill bathroom. All right, here we are. I think they did a fabulous job of coming in and giving us a nice clean look. Uh, once again, that's going to be our white and gray color scheme that we see so often in today's renovations. Okay, this is going to be the front bedroom, another really good sized bedroom. Our closet is going to be right there. And I'm gonna take you, let's see, I think I'm gonna take you back outside. Uh, this was a really cute home. If someone is looking to downsize uh, or just doesn't need a lot of space, but wants a nice home that's renovated and ready to go, this might be a great choice. If you have any questions about this or any other home in the market, my name is Max Williams. It'd be an honor for me to help. I can reach you 804-402-7788 on Facebook, under Rich Mary Foreclosures, on YouTube, under my name, Max Wimbry Tour. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.